Okay, now for our next installment, uh, most of book number four, because we got most of the sub-episodes out of the way, we shall skip right up to, uh, sub-episode five. Once again, all Sanchi material is copyright March 17, 2000 by Christian Weston Chandler. Any names or persons illustrated in any of the Sanchi and Roshi comic books, except that of myself, that may seem similar to anybody in real life or fiction, are purely coincidental or otherwise parodic. Anyway, here is the cover of book number four. You'll never get away from loneliness. <laughs> I'll persevere. I'll get over it. And I will find my sweetheart. Sub episode 5, part 2 of Make Attack. As you recall from the previous sub episode, Darkbind Sergeant and I kicked those MC Deville managers behind. Darkbind left after the battle to continue his quest for his Princess Elena Rose Shoes Reawakening. After my victory speech, the manager of the Malwart region barged in to challenge me, which brings us up to date. Have some fistful fries! Pfft. Ah! He knocked my wings off my head. Ah, oh, man! All the soda pop gone to waste. I better take a shower and cool out, come out and smell like a flower. That was my quick shower. Anyway, now I'm mad. Yeah! I throw a punch and he catches it with his fish. Oh. Uh, and, he, and, he lists, and he lifts me up. Uh, try to get out of my evil grip. <laughs> Dang it. I should have stayed transformed. But even then, would I become able to defeat this manager by myself? Don't sweat it, Chris. There is a way to defeat him. What? Oh, ancestor. Hello, Chris. It is you, so good to see a friendly face. But I'm in a real bind now, so what advice do you have for me, wise one? Do you recall how your powers made your wings real? Yeah. What you need now is a woman's touch. What? Look. My heart torch? But it's made from pencil blocks. Yes, Chris. But understand. I know you uh, combined with your powers, you could use it to summon your dream sibling. She will be able to help you much better than your mother or yourself. Farewell, Chris. I'll check in with you later. Summon my dream sibling? <gasps> of course! My twin sister, Crystal! I'll get the- I get the heart torch. I gotta get the heart torch. I mean, oh shoot, but there it is. With the rest of my stuff on that table. I may be unable to transform, but I can still attack. Electric Hedgehog attack! Growth! And I'm made bi and I'm made bigger, and my my hands and leg become bigger than his hands can grasp. So then I easily get up and jump out of his hand, jump out, jump out of his hands, and land nearby a chair. And then there's like there's still this between me and the hard torch. So he pulls out a laser gun and he zaps me, and he tries to zap me, but he misses all three times. That gets us a hard torch, and I go, hard torch, glow. Boom, 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 the beam, blue lights around me, boom, 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 and then uh, right behind me, boom, 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 I get cloned, boom, 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 with my female sister, my female clone, boom, 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 which would be considered my sister, boom, 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 boom. Ah. Well. Huh. Well, fancy seeing you in the flesh, Christopher. My brother. Even though we're clones, we're still like siblings. And it is good to have you here, too, Crystal, my sister. Oh, swell replies to WM manager. Now there's two of them? That makes my job a lot harder. But I'll do it anyway. Pew! He zaps his gun. <gasps> Get down, brother! Pew! Pew! This is to both of us. Oh, great. Another hole-in-one. <laughs> ah, thanks for the save, sis. No problem. I see your medallion. Do you possess the same, my same ancient powers as I do? Yeah, I can transform. Alright, now then, let's... All right, then let's transform and get him. Yeah. Yeah. Electric Hedgehog Power. <laughs> Ta da! Chris Chan signs you. Chris Tanina Rose Chew. 
pew, 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 continues to zap at us, but we deflect with mirror coat and shoots his shooting arm off. Ah! Crystal and I come together, jump up, and go and lean on them towards a double corkscrew kick. <laughs> we knock him down. Hmm. Hey, sis, let's finish him off. My com by combining our ultimate attacks, you read my mind. Oh, yeah, let's do it. Mm. <laughs> so then she takes off her tiara. She goes, shocking, tiara. And I start off my curse, ha me ha. Then she throws her tiara, and I launch my attack. Ha! Aiming at the intersection point of her tiara and the and the, the, and the mad jerk. Combining our powers into one forceful attack. We hit, we destroy his robot body, and his head comes popping off. Boom! 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 boom. And his, his head just lands nearby us. Mm. And then the senior American senior comic says, "I knew he couldn't get it. I knew he couldn't get a meter." Then the black manager says, "Yeah, we three should go back to BBC Citizens." Mm. Wow, just a head. Well. Shows that he can never be left behind. <laughs> That's a good one. But seriously, I have a few words for this mad jerk. Uh, great. How dare you intrude in my brother's long and enduring quest to find a boyfriend for girl. And not only that, but you also had the nerve to attempt to hurt him emotionally and physically. You know how would you feel if you are in his situation? You'd understand that spelling it out is the way to find a boyfriend. From the ground up, and especially since he is very shy. But I pity you, because you have no body, which leads to the obvious conclusion that you have no heart. You are missing out on some awesomely great emotions, big time. You can't possibly feel the intense emotions from having a frustrated hormones as well as, the lo as loneliness. You jerk, why don't you just... Yeah, okay, 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 sis, I, feel, I think you made your point. But what I want to know is, who sent this jerk? <clears throat> Fine, I'll tell you. I'm from the private villa, Corrupted Citizens, and I was sent by its president, Slavio the Rich. <laughs> Dang, that witch! It is so like her to attempt to murder my soul again. Let's send this bowling ball flying back to, to that witch, sis. Alright. Alright, we kick on hike. Hut, 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 hike! And the head gets full, gets, gets kicked sky high. Meanwhile, in Slavio's office at the private villa, Corrupted Citizens, so Leo watches us from a crystal ball. Come, Crystal, I'll treat you to lunch. And then Count Graduan says, Hey, hey, you'll get his soul yet. Curse is that, Chris! He has thwarted my fit efforts again! From the head, in the head, the manager crashes in and it bonks merrily while she looks Slowheel Ryan on the head. I thought it couldn't get any worse. Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo! Her cuckoo cock goes. If she thinks she'll never find a boyfriend free girl with his method, then Slowheel is cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo! End of the episode. Stay tuned for the next sub episode.